I never thought I'd say this, but put Care Bears back on! So the team splits up again. One goes to get Alice to the castle, and the other goes to find the princess. Whoa, I'm so hungry I'm starting to see things. Still building up that joke. You won't believe how disappointing the payoff is. <laughs> the must me hearties, tis a fair wind and clear sailing ahead. So it turns out they come across a series of hats that makes them believe they're different people. It must belong to the Mad Hatter. I'll bet he left it behind so we could follow him. So that's what the Cheshire Cat meant by use our heads. I suppose he could have told us that straightforward, but it wouldn't have been so forcefully hit. So while they follow the hats, I guess, the other team goes over their battle plan. Mr. Rabbit, I was wondering, what exactly does a princess do? Well, mostly sell toys, piss off feminists, and make girls question their own sense of self-worth. Tell me I'm wrong! But then Tweedledip and Tweedleshit drop by and throw her in their evil carriage. So they stop her from getting to the castle as they take her to... The castle! You just brought her to the place she was going anyway! I think your plan's a little backwards, Jafar! I am the Wizard of Wonderland. Well, why don't you leave Wonderland alone? Wonderland needs me. So, of course, he sings about how he wants to bring rules and order to a place where they don't seem to fly. Now, tell me, listening to the song, if this sounds a little bit familiar. And I'm just the man <gasps> for the job. And you feel that you've had quite enough. Now, don't you ever wonder about Wonderland? How everything is upside down. Remember that you're standing on a planet that's evolving and revolving at 900 miles an hour. Yeah, pretty friggin' close, aren't they? Needless to say, the sequence would be a lot better if there were some animated Terry Gilliam movies floating around. The creatures are so crazy in their wonderland, they don't know that it's turned around. And I know I talked about this before in my top 11 scariest nostalgic moments, but I'm gonna bring it up again. Just before the evil wizard finishes his song, for a split second he makes one of the scariest faces, period. Everything at my command. Did you miss it? Let's play it again. Everything at my command. God damn is that freaky! Let it haunt your nightmares for weeks! Oh, don't think it's that bad? Don't think it's that creepy? Let's try replacing it with that scary face from the Don't Be Afraid of the Dark trailer. <laughs> Fucking scary! Do you think for a single moment that a silly, frightened, plain little girl like you could fool anyone into believing that you are a real princess? <laughs> <laughs> so, in a rather bizarre move, he leads her into the room where the queen is, and everybody believes that she's the princess. Well, why did you do that, dumbass? You had her right there, you could have killed her or locked her up or something. Instead, you just sped up their plan! You know, instead of Evil Wizard, I think they should have called you friggin' Dumb Ox! Tomorrow she shall become Queen of Wonderland! Unlike the queen in the original book, who was nasty and hate-filled, this queen is nice and jolly, and clearly has no idea how to govern because these are some damn weird rules they have to abide by. The wizard has hidden my daughter somewhere to make certain she'll miss the coronation tomorrow. I'll have no choice but to pass my crown on to him. Well, why don't you just stay queen, then? I'd have him cast out of Wonderland this instant, but uh, I have no proof. And if you needed proof in Wonderland? Did you hear the song? Everything's topsy-turvy and upside down. What's with all the laws? With you standing in place of the princess, the wizard cannot be crowned King of Wonderland. And yeah, that's another thing. Have you noticed what the princess's name is? Princess! Have you noticed what the queen's name is? Queen! How can you swear at people in this world of rules and laws when you don't even know what their fucking names are? So they dress her up and teach her how to be all princessy so she can fool the crowd. <laughs> How difficult can drinking tea and playing croquet be? Apparently not as hard as finding a good editor. Hang on, little lady. Whoa. 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 You're doing great, Alice. Thank
thanks to my friendly flamingo. I just happen to be the best in the business. Rise and shine, get a glow, cause you know you're gonna shine like the star you are. So by following the hats, the group makes it to a cave where they find the Mad Hatter, who apparently was smart enough to lead people to the princess's location, but not actually smart enough to save her himself. You know, the lack of logic of the character's lack of logic really lacks of logic! What? <laughs> you like hats? <laughs> I'm mad about hats! Well, I've heard of worse reasons for a song. Uh, now, a hat is a wonderful thing, you see. Everyone's got its own personality. You just uh, slip it on and instantly you can be anybody that you want to be.